The battle over the placement of a sexually violent predator in East County played out in court today. Douglas Badger was convicted of crimes that date back half a century. As News 8's Heather Hope reports, the California Department of State Hospitals wants to put him in a home in the Mount Helix neighborhood. Yes, much back and forth with the public comment at today's hearing. We're in the Mount Helix neighborhood where you can see a lot of kids playing outside, and that is the concern. Why have a sexually violent predator placed in a neighborhood where there are so many children? We think it's a mistake. Protesting at the downtown courthouse steps, about a dozen held up signs, some which read, child predators not welcome. We would be living in fear. The children would no longer be able to walk to school. Concerned neighbors sounded off outside the public court hearing that took place inside on whether the California Department of State Hospitals should place a sexually violent predator in a home in the Mount Helix neighborhood. No less than five elementary schools and numerous daycare centers within a mile, parks, playgrounds, churches, and densely populated urban area that's highly inappropriate. The other concern was why the East County. Almost all these offenders are placed in the East County and some are placed in the, in the South County but none are placed in the North County. El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells, who has a doctorate in psychology, says the sex offenders case could put the community at high risk. It's a sexual masochistic disorder, and the recidivism rate for this kind of disorder is extremely high. 78-year-old Douglas Badger could be placed at 10957 Horizon Hills Drive in unincorporated El Cajon. Badger has been diagnosed with schizophrenia and sexual sadism with a criminal history that dates back to the 1970s, which includes child molestation, rape, kidnapping, and forcible oral copulation, as well as sexually assaulting male hitchhikers. This is not the place to put a man like this, not, not in our community not really in any community. For the past two decades, Badger has been inside state mental hospitals. Local leaders are fighting for a better relocation. We've been victorious in the past in stopping these things. We're doing everything we can to stop it. We're gonna put so much pressure on the judge and the parole department. I, I think that we'll definitely win this. And even if this neighborhood is successful and not having Badger being relocated here, it is just one step as the state is also recommending that another sexually violent predator be placed in that same home on Horizon Hills Drive.